Well, so we're here. It's 2023. We're gonna give you the new sh and we get the newest information, the freshest thing. All right, fresh out of the oven. And oh yeah, uh, as an introduction, right? We have, we have to explain what colleges are. This, all right, in the Chinese University of Hong Kong, there are nine colleges: four, uh, four old, and five new. Now it's very important that you pick the right one, all right? <laughs> don't, don't don't make a mistake. Don't make a mistake, man. I, it's literally gonna define your four, your four or whatever. Yeah. Like, not, not only does it define like who you hang out with, it also defines like how easy it is to get to uh, like your college. So you might spend like an hour every day transporting rather than like maybe I don't know, 15, 10 minutes every day transporting. So it's a pretty major thing. And also it'll become much easier to go to your like early morning classes if you have a convenient college. Yep, and if you extrapolate it all the way to four years or whatever, however long your program is, yeah, it, it's very, very <laughs> you, important. You got at least two weeks wasted going from like the university <laughs> station to like we son or whatever like, it's not worth it guys uh there's another like tier list video circulating the internet right now but it's definitely like really outdated you can just tell from like a multitude of things and there's been like new colleges to the dorms or whatever and they didn't bring it up there and that would, i think that would change the ranking a lot also i feel like the ranking was like very clearly wrong and biased against some specific colleges clearly abby has never been to like a we son or any <laughs> dorm so just because you're from SHO and you're like mornings with uh, MC, do you want to start with MC? Yeah, I, I have a couple of like uh, several friends there and every time I talk about colleges, they mention uh, similar things again and again. One uh, that was, I was surprised with was honestly rent. That like, I mean for a lot of us, money is pretty important, right? As, uh, and MC's rent is like 50% more than all the other <laughs> colleges. Like, it's no joke. I, I pay like $7,000 for a semester. Wow. Uh, you, you do here, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, Chungchi pays 7000 as well for a semester. Uh, most of the other colleges are also the same, but MC comes in and then they're like, oh yeah, we pay 10K. <laughs> <laughs> 10K for a single semester. Yeah. And then everything is just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive. There are communal dinners, right, in MC. Um, in SHO at least, a communal dinner, a single meal is like around $40. Mm. But for MC, they pay $70 per meal for yeah. three times a week for the whole semester. It doesn't Comes help. out to almost $3,000, I'm mistaken, for a single semester on a dinner that's like overpriced. Uh, every time I wanted to get uh, people to come along to go to like MC Canteen, they're like, nah man, nah man, it's not that <laughs> good. So, <laughs> it's, not it's, 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 and then they close at 2 p.m. or something. Yeah, yeah, it's, the hours are terrible. Like, and also they don't have any like weekend hours either as far as I'm aware. Oh it's really? Just, it's oh, just oh, not man. good. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, it's funny because I was looking at the like the last tier list video, and you can see there was some comment uh, like being very elitist. They're like only non MCers would rank Morningside second because it seems overrated. But you can see here he's talking about like the community, the college facilities, location. Uh, personally, I would say all of these are not that good. Like the location in comparison to like uh, SHO is actually not ideal. Um, the college facilities themselves. I wasn't that impressed with their gym. It was rather oh, small. Yeah, yeah. The equipment oh, yeah, the was gym, pretty limited. The gym's so small. It's not that good. <laughs> um, and then also the community, I would say, is like one of the most toxic communities <laughs> as far as like an individual college goes. Like it's very tight knit, and like they don't let anybody else really in. But at the same time, again, it is international, and it does have like benefits like that, and it, it does have a decent location compared to some other colleges. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's, uh, location's definitely not that bad uh, compared to some of the other places. Uh, yeah. And in terms of community, you can say that yeah, it's one of more, the more diverse ones. I think they have like a third local students, a third mainland students, and a third international students. Uh, everything's very international. Yeah, you can say that. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I don't really know what they what the college what the college focuses on because they don't. It doesn't seem to excel in that many things. I mean, it's a new yeah. college. It's a, one of the newer uh, yeah. the colleges. So I guess facilities mm. is like uh, newer somewhat. But then again, the old colleges also have newer facilities sometimes. The, the main thing though is you get like four years guaranteed residence, which is pretty important. Uh, no, not for international students. No, not for international no. students. So for international students, you are guaranteed three years in all colleges, period. At MC though, I mean. In MC, in SHO, and in uh, CWC, CW2, they guarantee and, four and, and years. Wilson, Wilson. But oh, Wilson, oh yeah, and Wisan guarantees four years of residency. But the problem with that is that um, 
when you are in the other colleges as well, you're guaranteed three years. But the fourth year is like de facto uh, guaranteed. If you weren't like out of all the people I know here, they've only managed to mention one case in, where an, an international student did not manage to get a dorm for their fourth year. Yeah. And what he had to do was just appeal and he got it. So, so it's kind of... <laughs> yeah, it's... it's I, I don't know if it's... I wouldn't necessarily put MC as your first choice, uh, like for most people, unless you're like interested in that very international community. Yeah, I'd say that um, community, I guess it's uh, pretty decent. Uh, dorm is all right. Being there, it's uh, all right. But like price and like the elitism is uh, overrated something like that i mean yeah. this year my batch there was only like uh, out of like 20 something indonesians indonesian freshmen that came here there was only one guy who got in there because everybody else just went to the using <laughs> and they really like it for some reason yeah uh, well, i would i i mean personally i would probably put mc as maybe b tier i guess what do you think Mm, sounds just right. We can put it there first, right? And okay. We can yeah. move it later. Putting like B plus maybe. Yeah, B plus sounds. Okay, okay. B plus sounds right. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. S- next one that is Li Wu Sing. Okay, so I, I'll just start off, I guess, by just saying that I think you guys should differentiate all the colleges into like three different tiers as far as location goes. Like MC, uh, CC, and SHO are like by far like they're the very most convenient. Uh, and then you should probably have like NA and UC uh, as the second most convenient. Those ones are like pretty decent and they're pretty. You can get to, like any place in campus, maybe 15, 10 minutes. Um, and then you have like uh, the, all the other ones like Cha, C, uh, WC, uh, Li Sing, Wuyisun, and these are all very inconvenient. And you're gonna take a long time <laughs> in buses. I speak from personal experience. It's really horrible to like get on. Uh, you have to, I mean, because Wuyisun doesn't even have its own stops. So you have to go really far down, and it takes a very long time. Oh, all so oh, right. Just from that, I would say. That's one kind of downside of Li Wu Sing. However, I think on the, at the same time, it's like it has a very good canteen, and it's like it does have like a pretty tight community. But I don't think it's as like toxic necessarily as the MC. Uh, the place itself, well, the canteen is really expensive. <laughs> that's for sure. There's a cafe on top as well. That one is even more expensive. Um, they're really strict. They they are really strict with their hostel regulations. Honestly, they are yeah. But th- they have good. Th- I think they're like uh, facilities are pretty good though. Yeah yeah yeah. Their pantries are nice and roomy and whatnot, right? Uh, the rooms look fine, standard basically, yeah. with like all the other uh, what CUHK places. Based on what people tell me, they like it, except for like how far it is to everywhere else. Yeah, so I would say honestly, I would say like A tier maybe because I I, I think it, it it's like it's just decent. It's a new college as well, so it's yeah, it's definitely up there. It's nice facilities. I would say A. Yeah, we can put A. Okay. All right. To a CWC. All right. Something to say. Well, to us, uh, like who live um near to everything, or to us SHO people and Chungchi people. CWC just doesn't exist. It's just so far away. It is so far away, but actually, I would argue that it is in a better location than uh, Li Wu Sing and all these other places. I would say it's actually in a better location because you can pretty much get a lot of buses that go like directly uh, towards the MTR or directly against uh, the MTR. Uh, so there's like a it's like it's like a one stop bus route that goes from the MTR to CWC, which is way better than like uh, Wu Sing or Li Wu Sing can say. Yeah, but the frequency is definitely a problem. Frequency Frequency is low. frequency yeah. is a problem. It's enough for them to like time their yeah time their arrivals time and whatnot. Like um, what I'm saying by that, what I mean by that is that the the bus comes every like fifth uh the fifteenth, the thirtieth, the forty fifth, and the zeroth minute of the hour. So if it were like five o'clock, it would come at five, at five fifteen, at five thirty, at five forty five. Um, it's enough. Like the frequency is uh, bad enough in CWC that they would wait until let's say five fifteen. They'll go at like five ten or something and wait at the bus stop. So where do, where do you think you put CWC? I mean, it's, people say it's like the hotel of CUHK, so I think it's pretty. Decent. I've been told that, but like um, the guy I know from there, he says that well, it looks like a hotel from the outside, but inside. <laughs> Uh, it looks basically standard. I've been told that. Um, the food, right? The food. Uh, be the light. It's very popular. Yeah. But I've been told it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, and I think it's like not too expensive. And also, I think that there's a like good like 
soccer field in that area too so you would have some like decent uh, sports facilities and honestly when like walking back late at night i would say it's probably better than like uh the college like lee Wusing and lee Wusing, whatever uh and shaw oh yeah because it's on top of the hill yeah so because you see isn't you kind of just have to walk flat so yeah, it's not it's, as it's, bad but it's just behind the hill so it's yeah. a long way around uh, yeah so i mean i would put it probably i don't know a maybe what do you think mm. It doesn't feel right if I put it right beside Wu Sing though. And B. For now. I give it a B plus. Give it a B plus. Yeah. Alright, alright. Chung Chi uh, is is a big call. <laughs> it's like if you look at the map of CHK, basically half of it is like Chung Chi <laughs> because of historical reasons. Um in terms of dorms, it looks well it's uh you might get one of the older ones or one of the newer ones. I'm 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 like on average the buildings are relatively older uh, they seem all right as is it's just in terms of commute you'll be definitely walking you're <laughs> close to everything but you're definitely gonna be walking around yeah everywhere uh i would say for like if you're like business school or something uh cc is probably pretty decent because everything's really, all right business schools right. in general is pretty close to cc or uh, sometimes it'll be like es esther lee or whatever which is like opposite mtr basically oh yeah and if you're mm. taking engineering it's main campus basically yeah. and you got you have ebenezer's you have like chungchi canteen uh, i mean cc, Pomeran. <laughs> CC canteen is its own thing but <laughs> it's no i mean like chungchi's got so many canteens it does have a lot of canteens you have a lot of options you have like uh what's it called the this is a japanese paper and coffee yeah yep. it's pretty good uh one of the best ones so the library i think the library is pretty nice and they have a new the uh, kunkel center or like if you want to like party with your friends celebrate somebody's birthday or something a lot of people go to like kunkel center at night um there's lots of like good space there to study or just like chill with people so i would say as far as like old college go i think it's pretty decent i would also put a b actually we can put it there for now okay all right so for the next college we got shaw uh, I've not heard the best things about Shaw personally, yeah, 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 but yeah. people don't like it that much. And they, oh yeah, they, they changed the canteen. So if you um, if you used like Abilong, Abilong right? Yeah. Abilong's video as reference, uh, just to know, they changed the canteen. Now it's a lot more expensive, and it's basically this like standard food. Yeah. Now. Oh, another thing that's really frustrating. Uh, the worst thing about Shaw most likely is like the location is really bad, and then also <laughs> ha Shaw always hosts these very big like festivals, which generally like honestly they're not that good from my experience, <laughs> but they'll take up much of like the uh, the bus stop. So then the bus has to go really far around, and then there's generally very long lines at Shaw so it's in terms of convenience it's pretty bad if you're trying to like walk back late at night to Shaw it's gonna be really bad and then also unrelated but the kitchens are probably the worst kitchens I've seen in CHK they're little tiny small tiny 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 little kitchens yeah I've been I've been told by my well I guess uh, I got a senior there I got a friend there he keeps he keeps telling me that it just looks depressing <laughs> from the outside yeah. and on the inside or something I mean it's yeah. But definitely livable on, but. on on the bright side i guess get, you gotta have one thing to shot shot does have like a decent gym like people will go to the shot gym i guess um any uni gym is like not that good personally but uh, it's for like basic stuff i would say shot gym is okay so yeah but I, i'm definitely gonna say like i think i'm gonna quote the same thing the other video said no uh, nobody i know in shaw like shaw <laughs> <laughs> i think shaw has a solid d tier <laughs> i would not recommend putting it as your first choice you can put it as your last choice and if you do get into shaw it's not the end of the world you'll have friends from other colleges you'll be able to like relax and do what you want to do but it's not the best our next right. one is SH sho my college so well i mean like yeah i'm from sho and whatnot right? <laughs> you, do you want me to talk about sho well it's definitely um so this is a nice thing about sho right um, it's close because it's basically like Chungchi close. It's at the bot down, uh, bottom of the hill. You can walk to the MTR and whatnot. It's not a problem. Uh, and the, the buses, the buses are so frequent there. Sometimes you know during class hours, I'd see like four buses line up at the bus stop. <laughs> yeah, every bus goes to SHR basically besides like eight or something. Yep, yeah, it's beside the the best, the bi well no, the biggest gym in the university as well. So SHO is definitely a nice place. Um, you got four the, years oh, of the guarantee. Canteen is super super cheap. It's it's like oh, ca uh, canteen is one of the most reliable. It's like reliable. Yeah, I would say it's reliable. It's like it's a staple. You know. <laughs> yeah, you can come there at like eight or well. Yeah, definitely. It's like um, it's almost Chung Chi reliable. It's almost yeah. Chung Chi Canteen reliable, yeah. because if MC closes at two p.m., <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's actually something it has in relation to the next college on the list. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I would say it's pretty good. Pretty good. It's uh, yeah, I see a lot of MCers go to SHO just mm -hmm. to eat, but I would just say that like SHO, like the, the environment there, the people who are there, 
generally just like I, just, I, I don't know I think they're like nice I guess <laughs> so <laughs> I uh, all the other people every time I've seen as they show they're like wow you got a nice one like um, especially if they come from Shaw or whatever yeah I get, I get that often uh, uh, the halls the rooms are standard basically they're nice and cozy the two people bedrooms like basically everywhere else but the nice thing is that uh, one like a single floor has f- fewer people yeah so on it, average it's, it's almost like I house without the horrible parts of my house <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, with less people on every uh, on every floor you get the basically almost the same like quantity of facilities but you know it's much cleaner because less people are using it yeah I would I would say I, I would say SH is probably S tier yeah call it yeah. for NA I would say this is probably like Honestly, coming from my college, coming from Wilson, I would say that like I almost wish I was in NA just because like first of all, it's easy to get into. So if you put it as like your second choice or like a choice after like uh, one of the new colleges, you will definitely get into it because it's more underrepresented. And also, it has like like the best views on campus. They also have, in my opinion, like probably my favorite canteen. If you want to have like a more like chill like dorm environment, I guess I would say NA is pretty good. Um, if you, if you like to party or whatever, uh, and you want to come back really late at night, NA is pretty good because it's a decent, like, it's a, it's not far a walk compared to, like, the colleges on the other side of the hill. And uh, it also <laughs> has, I think, a lot of need base scholarship. But, yeah, what, what do you think? NA? Well, I mean, you got a really good view with the dorms, yeah. I think. And, and I, I guess from what I've seen, because I've been in a few NA dorms because I have a few NA friends, um, I would say that the, like, the... The kitchens are generally like very good. Like Wuyuan has the worst kitchens in CUHK, in my opinion. Like they're pretty disgusting. <laughs> and his gyms have been pretty decent from what I've seen. And uh, kitchens are a big deal to me, if you can't tell. Uh, <laughs> but I would say that like NA, in my opinion, has all the benefits that like CC Shaw or uh, like United would have without a lot of the drawbacks that they would have. Besides the commutes of CC. Besides the commute. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think besides the commute. Yeah, um, yeah, and and the, the, the any commute's not bad. It's that it's far better than the other people on the side of the hill. I don't I don't know whether like uh that other video, mm, like whether they did a renovation in between like that video to Ooh. ours or something. But uh like the rooms are like the interiors of the place. It's like normal. that that gives me that, that reminds me actually though. The NA is building a new dorm, a new hostel. Oh right, it looks so sick. It looks really nice. It looks so, so sick. You're an, everything yeah. is. And you're an elevator stride away from central campus. It's yeah. so close to everything. Uh, so, I mean, I mean, personally, I'd put it like E tier, I guess. Just for, like, as an old college is. I mean, old college is generally a little bit lower, but I would say NA is definitely like, a, it's like, a, it's an underdog, right? Like, nobody really thinks about NA, but I would say it's pretty good. I would put it A tier. What do you think? Doable for now. We can Doable be, for we, now. Yeah. Give it A minus. It's, it's, it's an old college. A-. Give it A minus. It's an old college, but, yeah. you know. Um, it's not, it's not that bad. Yeah, what do you think about United? United! United, United. They, 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 they have little, like, very few rooms. That's what I remember. Uh, the canteen's pretty good, though. The canteen's pretty good. Or, canteen's no, it, it's, nah, it, it, it's, it's not that good. But, but they have bubble tea. They it's got, they cheap, got bubble and they tea. have they got bad bubble, bubble, bubble tea. That's another thing. NA has bubble tea, and they have a very reliable canteen, I guess. So, like, NA's bubble tea is far better than United's bubble Wait, tea. I've never actually tried any bubble tea. It's actually really good, but it's really expensive. So, oh, okay. So, okay. Just heads up, it's really that's expensive. That's a trade-off. That's a trade-off. It's a big trade-off, yeah. Um, but United is, like, cheap, like... Is it? Yeah, it's pretty cheap. It's, like, $30 for usually, $40. I would say it's, like, the same, same price as SHO. Fair enough, fair but enough. But it's not as, like, reliable. It's not very reliable. Uh... It, it it's kind of uh, it's kind of the same as NA, but without a lot of like the view and without the like the same amount of convenience <laughs> and without like uh, the like good canteen. I would say that <laughs> like it's pretty similar. So personally, and it also it's not getting a new. Oh, it is getting a new hostel, but I think that's in like four years. Really? Uh, yeah, they're working on it right now. It's like next to uh, the. It's next to one of the buildings, one of the academic buildings. So I, I, I mean, I would put it like B, B, B minus, something like that. What do you think? With Chung Chi. Um, that's true. That's true. Give it C plus. C plus. C plus. Give it a C plus. Solid C plus. Solid C plus. Okay, now it's time. T- time for my college, <laughs> I guess. Mm. So Wusan. the thing about Wusan, right, is like people kind of will overhype it. And everybody says, "Oh, it's so good." From somebody who's like personally from Wusan, I will tell you that like 
there's a lot of issues with it. First of all, like, if you're someone who likes to, like, be able to get back late at night, like, when you want to, like, go party or whatever, and you don't want to, like, walk, like, an hour or something and walk like, way uphill, <laughs> uh, it's kind of bad. If, you, if you're somebody who likes to, like, be able to eat good food, I wouldn't recommend it because the canteen is pretty terrible, and also the kitchens are, like, really horrible. Uh, so, also, if you, like, if you're somebody who likes to, like, be able to eat and cook in a uh, sanitary environment, I wouldn't recommend it because it's, um... It's very, 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 like, messy as far as, like, the kitchen. Like, everybody leaves their dirty dishes everywhere. So if you want to get anything cleaned or, like, co cooked, you, you have to, like, dig through the dirty dishes. And then the uh, shelves are usually full of, like, spices and just, like, a ton of stuff. So there's no room in them. And the fridges and the freezers are, like, the most full I've seen in any college. Really? So it's pretty <laughs> bad. It's pretty horrible. And also, if you're somebody who likes to sleep, it's not really worth it because the noise isolation is not that great. A lot of people, like, play loud music and stuff. And, like, it's just not a very... Like quiet place. Also, the like this student union is always doing activities. So if you're in like fifth west or fifth east, it's pretty bad because you have this like balcony where they're like throwing water at each other. It's, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> also, if you're somebody who likes to be able to like move at all, uh, like like go up and down elevators, I wouldn't recommend it because the elevators are like very, very slow and you're always waiting like a very, very long time for the elevators um, because like, I don't even know why, they always break too and there's like, like what, like nine stories? Uh, so yeah, hopefully you don't get in the ninth, ninth story when the elevators break, um, which happens like every other day. Uh, and then also, if you like to be able to go to the restroom without like, buying toilet paper or going down the very <laughs> slow elevator i wouldn't recommend it because right they, they don't they don't provide toilet paper they don't, don't provide they? toilet paper and they say it's like the big green or whatever but i've always thought that's kind of stupid because like if you're not gonna be like giving toilet paper in bulk which is what you'd be doing if you're like a college everybody's gonna be buying toilet paper in smaller like quantities <laughs> yeah. so then you're using like a lot more plastic so it's just like it's just an inconvenience for the sake of being an inconvenience Wuxing does the same thing as well right Li Wuxing? i don't i don't they don't they don't give toilet paper they don't know I, I they call themselves a green college. It's, but, it's but, very frustrating, yeah. You know what's what's funny about it? What's that? They call themselves a green college, but they give all like every single room a hundred dollars worth of like AC credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not good. Uh, one thing about uh Wilson, though is it does give like kilowatt hour uh AC, which is nice because like you it depends if it's like late at night, for example, the AC charge is a little lower. Wait, so. really? Yes. Yeah, oh wow. That's something. But it's 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 pretty like proportional to most other colleges so it's not like that much better um and another thing is if you're somebody who likes like a decently sized room i wouldn't recommend it because you have like two storage things and we used to, like it's not it's not very good setup as far as storage and yeah i think yeah. i think they traded some storage for like more desk space something like that yeah and even then like the view is not that good and i don't know i i wouldn't recommend it personally I don't know. This, this is a very controversial thing considering like Abby's video, but I would put like my college Wisa and I would put it as like maybe C tier. Oh, really? I, I honestly like C or B minus. Like that's. Uh, again, I wish I was. I wish I was even in like N A over Wisa sometimes. It's just it's so inconvenient, <laughs> you know? But I don't know. I, I would put it. What do you think? What do you think? C or B minus? Well, I, honestly, I didn't know much about Wisa, but I think like Wusing. Um, it's definitely not that bad in like uh, it's sort of like it's it's it's, it's better in comparison. Liu Wu Sing or Wu Sun? Oh, Liu Wu Sing. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like I wouldn't put it as your top college because if you don't get into like Wu Sun, which you probably won't, um, it's it's just not that good. I don't know. <laughs> well, I honestly don't know much about it, so I guess I can but, only follow what you say. Basic, basically, by putting Wu Sun as your top choice then you give up the opportunity to be able to get an SHO or Morningside, which are like objectively right, better right, right. colleges. Because, I mean, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, something to note, guys. If you, uh, like with most of the new colleges, if you don't put it as your first choice, you probably won't get it. Yeah. So, I like, you also like give up your choice for like the new thing as well. So, I, 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 MC is kind of, I don't know, I would put, I would put a C. I want to put a C. But, right, but I want to adjust something a little bit. What do you think? What do you think? CWC really that high? <laughs> CWC is yeah CWC. You wanna put CWC C tier? It's just so far away. It's just too remote. I think we gotta put it C. Gotta put it C tier. Sorry guys, but uh, <laughs> sorry. Basically, guys. at the end of the story, at the end of the, like the the story, or whatever. Uh, your college doesn't really matter as much as you might think it might matter. Uh, it really 
more depends on how you make your experience like uh, count, I guess. Yeah, but, but picking picking the right ones and putting effort it, yeah, into it yeah. in it is definitely not a bad. Thing. Yeah, yeah, put some put some effort into it. Put but effort. If, if you get if you get Shaw, it's not the end of the world. It, it's <laughs> yeah. just breathe, and then maybe you'll like <laughs> they'll change you. I don't know, <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, gotta be real. If you want to go into the newer colleges, and like most people do want to get into newer colleges, I've, I don't think I've ever heard of anybody who wants to go into an older college first. They uh, most of the uh, like everybody I know, they try to, to apply to a newer college first. Um, just note that it will take some effort for the newer colleges. Maybe an interview, maybe an essay, yeah. or a, a self introduction. But I gotta tell you, it, it it's like. It's it's quite some work. That's true, but it's gonna r- literally change your four years here. So yeah, Ooh, ma- so something you might be interested in as well. Just a little uh, quick quick tip, I guess, is uh, we son is ch- typically the Bangladeshi college. If you're Bangladeshi, that doesn't move it up. Uh, and and Lewis, Lewis Singh is typically the Indonesian college, from what I've seen. So if you're Indonesian, you might like want to go there to hang out with other Indonesians. There's a lot of Indonesians in Lewis Singh. Yeah, and if you're from like well, like what else? If you're from like a more like I guess rarer country, uh, you like might bump up MC because there's a lot of people from like uh, like it's very diverse, obviously. So yeah, but you know it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. Oh, and also Chungchi Chungchi has like the most international period because they just have so many people. Yeah, right? but they're split up into a million different halls. Yeah, so if you're going to CC for internationals, like it's not really it's not worth it. <laughs> but. Oh yeah, and if you're a medical student, go to SHO. They, uh, <laughs> you, do you know about this? No, no. If you're a local student and you wanna uh, and you're gonna study medicine, uh, most people go to SHO. Why? There's this like five, no, six hundred thousand dollars scholarship <laughs> given out wow. to those people. <laughs> yeah, they, de- there's definitely some like scholarships. So if you if you're like lacking on money, uh, it's worth <laughs> it to look at some scholarships in, in terms of colleges. But generally, I think NA is better for like need based. From what I've heard. Do you think we should adjust something else? I don't think so. I think it's fine. Hmm. Man, the Li Wu Sing people is gonna hate me so much. <laughs> but they're commutes. They're commutes. It's okay. They're okay there. They're okay there. Bye-bye. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, <laughs> everyone. Right, college. Don't mess up. Yeah, yeah, don't mess up. Don't make my mistake. <laughs>